Hi, my name is Blaine Lang and I work for Next Tide. We are a Drupal consulting firm located in Burlington, Ontario, just outside Toronto. And we'll do anything Drupal, but have an area of expertise around business applications. We have developed a number of modules for Drupal and in this video we will explore File Depot, a document management solution for Drupal. File Depot can be used as a document repository for your community of users. It fulfills the need for a community or company website when you need to share documents and want the feel of a purpose-built application for file sharing and collaboration. File Depot provides several methods to set up documents and folder access and delegate administration. And we're going to see this through the uh, video, including support for organic groups, which has been tested with Commons 3.0 distribution for Drupal 7. Let's start our tour. So over here on our example site we already have File Depot installed. The main File Depot screen um, has a um, number of navigation links on the left and then our main file display area here on the right. Um, these are some quick navigation reports and below that we track your five most recent folders, up to five most recent folders. Very convenient when you have a very large repository with a deeply nested folder structure. And then your top level folders. Example, um, clicking on sales will bring up uh, all the folders underneath sales and then you can expand easily the uh, subfolders displaying the files underneath of it. Um, often we're, your main screen, what we saw was latest files. Um, so our main file listing, we can uh, see the file name, we can indicate some status, this is indicating that it's locked, um, locked for editing. Um, we also have the ability to quickly flag files as favorites and then one of the reports for example is the your flag files. So I'll quickly remove it. Um, just coming back to that we've got uh, some quick navigation to the uh, folder so we can quickly go into the 2011 um, folder and we'll see that uh, we have breadcrumb navigation here so this is um, underneath the sales forecast directory clicking on forecast goes up one more level and uh, so it's very quick and easy to navigate around. Um, additionally, you have um, a number of tags that you can associate with files and you can quickly get a search. So in this case, all 2012 files and I can add tags. So this, now we've got the 2012 forecast files and you can also remove them and see if there's any others for previous years. Um, you can also display the tag cloud and uh, fairly common uh, with the font size being larger for more popular files and additionally you can do search so if I look for all files that have the word sales either in the file name, the description or the folder name. Come back up to latest files. Clicking on a file will bring up the file details dialog where depending on my permissions different menu items will be active. Um, a normal user would only has view access would only have the download um, menu item active and uh, subscribe. Uh, I'm an admin, so the other options are available as well. So I can edit the file details and uh, brings up the, um, the ability to change the description, add a version, notes, um, add and remove tags, as well as to move the file to a different directory. Um, I'm an admin right now, so I have access to the complete repository. If uh, I'm a restricted admin or only have access to a few folders, then only those folders will show in this list. Um, obviously, I can delete. Um, also, we have the version control built into uh, File Depot. You can add, uh, upload another file, and it will be appended as a, a new version. We can uh, lock or unlock. In this case, this file was locked, so I can I can unlock it. And um, there is user's ability to subscribe for notifications. So clicking on this will subscribe. And now, um, if it's already been subscribed, then you would you could potentially toggle it to unsubscribe. A real handy feature is broadcast notification. This is um, the ability to send out a message to all members of the site that currently are monitoring or have view access to this folder and send a message that you've now updated the document. Uh, even if they're not subscribed, they will get this broadcast. There is the ability to, uh, as a user, to turn off broadcast notifications as well. Now this is an example of a file here that has multiple um, versions. So I've uploaded three different versions and as you can see we have quick access as well to the previous versions if we need to. I'm an admin um, or I have edit access to this file so I can, I have, can also edit and delete um, these versions as well. 
creating a new folder brings up the dialog. We can uh, enter in the name of the folder we want. Um, put the uh, select the parent folder. We'd only again only see folders that we have folder admin to. And submit. This will uh, refresh and put me in that folder. Let's add a new file now to that folder. Bring up the new file dialog. We'll choose a file. Just pick PDF here. Just give it a simple name for now. Um, the parent folder we're going to put it into. Um, we can add a tag if we want, description, and just upload that file. There we are. We've got the tag associated with it, and we can see our details here as well. One other general user feature that we have here is the ability to select multiple files and then uh, enable through the uh, more actions um, things like deleting all the selected files, move the selected files. In this example, I'm bringing up the um, a folder selection. I'm an admin, so I see all the folders, but generally you would only see folders that you have access to. Um, additionally, I can subscribe to update notifications for those selected files or mark these as my favorite or clear favorites. Let's look at some of the other administration features that we have here. So let's go to one of our directories and um, go to the directory, a specific directory, whether it's sales or forecasts. If you hover over the uh, folder name, it changes into an editable box. That's because we have edit rights and got a little tool tip there. And opening that up, we're going to be able to um, change its uh, folder name. We can change the folder uh, parent, move it around if we need to. I can add my description. One of the key features of File Depot is its permissioning system. We have six permissions that we can assign. These permissions are view folder, and if I can view a folder, I can view the files in it, and I can also download the files. We have three upload permissions. Upload with approval means that I can upload files, or this user can upload files, but they require approval. The approval is anybody who has uploaded min. I can upload direct, which means files can be uploaded without permission, or no approval required. And this permission means that they can upload new versions. If I don't give a uh, user this permission, they can upload, but then they can't add new versions. If I grant someone folder admin permissions, they have full access to that folder to change its properties. So that's what folder admin is. We can assign these permissions in any, any combination of permissions. And we can see that we can assign them via user. So I could give this user here extra, extra view permission. So the sales group, for example, has got view access. They can view all the files that are in this folder. I've given them direct upload, but they can't upload versions and none of them are admins. Um, I may wish to grant this user here um, not only view admin permission, but may I want to make them folder admin and give them full direct upload permissions. So those permissions have now just been updated. So it's very flexible to assign permissions and control access to it. All right, so here I'm logged in as James Wilson. I'm a part of the sales group. And uh, when I access File Depot, I may not see all of the, the directories. In fact, I, uh, you may not recall, but there's a finance folder here that I don't have access to. So um, I am seeing the community file and professional service and sales. And as I go into the folders, um, you'll notice that I no longer have edit access to these ones. All I can do is click on it and change my personal settings for notifications for those folders. Um, if I go into Team Collaboration, though, um, this folder I do have admin access to. So this folder allows me to um, change the uh, properties of the folder and I can even manage its permissions. Um, I'm a full admin of that folder. So that's a good example of the ability to delegate administration. And you can delegate administration to somebody at the, of a top level folder and then let them manage the complete subfolder structure under that. So for this user, if I try to upload a new file, the only option I'll have are the folders that I have uh, access to, direct upload access to, or uploaded, upload with approval access. And additionally, if I go to create a new folder, the only folder I have access to is the one that I'm a folder admin for. One other feature I want to show you is with organic groups, that if I pass in the organic group context, in this case sales is a group name, File Depot will now show that top level folder that was uh, sales as its root. And what's showing under here as top level folders is no longer community and professional services and sales. It's really the folders that are underneath the sales top level folder that's been set up with organic groups. So 2009 forecast marketing, 
these were subfolders under there and now I'm going to start tracking the recent folders under here um, but um, this gives you a very nice nested organic group specific view of your uh, file depot folders now let me just back out again and show you if I come in through file depot without the group context you'll notice I've got community and sales and the folders under sales these are the ones that are showing up um, when I pass in the uh, sales group context and uh, just to do that one more time pass in sales um, here you are so this is the organic group native view of, uh, of the repository that concludes our overview of File Depot. I hope that you found that informative. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at Next Tide. Thank you very much.